in my previous video, I showed you how to build a seed signer, which is a DIY Bitcoin signing device. Now in that video, I did show you how to verify that your seed signer software is authentic, but for the extra paranoid user, we're going to take this a step further and double check that everything works as it should and that there's no evil software on here that will steal our coins. We are going to test three things. Firstly, and most importantly, that Seed Signer is exporting the correct XPUB to our software wallet. Second, we will confirm that Seed Signer uses our dice rolls correctly and generates the appropriate seed. Finally, we will confirm that the BIP85 child seeds that Seed Signer gives us are correct. Now, just an important disclaimer, the keys that you use to test your wallet are for testing only and should never actually store your Bitcoin. This is because we are going to put our keys into online websites. And once you have confirmed that your seed signer works, you should create new keys for your actual Bitcoin and never put those keys online. All right, let's power our seed signer on and get started. Here I have my seed signer unlocked. And the first thing you want to do is create a new key. So I'm going to go to tools, then new seed. And I'm just going to use the camera option so it's nice and quick. Cool, so I'm going to create a 12 word seed phrase and then click I understand and I'm quickly going to write this down. All right, so I've written all my words down over here. So I'm going to click next. Then I'm not gonna verify it this time just because this is a test. So I'm gonna click skip and then I'm going to finalize my seed by clicking done. Now what we're going to do is export this wallet's extended public key onto my Sparrow wallet. So to do this, I'm going to click on export XPUB over here. Then for single SIG, I'm going to click native SegWit and then select Sparrow. Now it's going to warn me about my privacy. I'm just going to click I understand and then click export XPUB. And now it's going to display my QR code. Now over in my Sparrow wallet, I'm going to go file new wallet then quickly call it um, seed signer test, then click create wallet. I'm gonna leave all these settings on default, then click air gapped hardware wallet, then select scan next to seed signer over here. Now I'm just going to scan my QR code on Sparrow, just like that. All right, now in Sparrow, I'm gonna click apply at the bottom right of my screen, and then I'm not gonna set a password because this is a test. So we have successfully exported our XPUB onto Sparrow. And if I click on these two arrows, we can see my ZPUB over here. And then if we go to addresses, we can see all my addresses. What we're going to do now is go to this website here, iancommon.io forward slash BIP39. And we are going to import our 12 words here by BIP39 mnemonic. All right, so the 12 word phrase that my seed signer generated and that I wrote down over here is now imported into this Ian Coleman website over here, as you can see. So now what we wanna do is verify that Ian Coleman gets the same XPUB and addresses that Sparrow got when we exported our wallet. So to do this, I'm just going to scroll down in Ian Coleman, then I'm going to make sure I'm on BIP84 over here, and then look at our extended public key right here. We need to make sure that this extended public key matches the one we see in Sparrow. So here we've got ZPUB 6RKXC and it ends in G-A-R-G-A. -G -A. And now if I go to Sparrow, then go to settings. Let's look here, we've got ZPUB 6RKXC and it ends in G-A-R-G-A. -G -A. So we've got the same XPUB in Sparrow Wallet and in Ian Coleman indicating that seed signer is exporting the correct XPUB for our seed phrase. Let's also go ahead and verify our addresses. So I'm going to click addresses here in Sparrow and here are all my addresses. The first one ends in 8DZ9. So if I go back to Ian Coleman and then scroll down to addresses, we can see 8DZ9. Now the next one is 4XH04. And then if I go to Sparrow, we can see 4XH04. Now we know for sure that our seed signer is exporting the correct XPUB for our seed phrase. And there's no malicious activity going on here. So next, 
Let's verify that C Tana is using our dice rolls correctly. All right, I've written a whole bunch of dice rolls down here, which we will be using to create a seed in our seed signer. Now, just a note is these dice rolls obviously aren't random. These aren't actual dice rolls. I just made them up right now. For your actual seed, it is best to actually roll dice so that they are truly random. This is just, this is obviously not random. Cool, so in my seed signer, I'm going to click tools, then a new seed with dice rolls over here, and then 12 words, and I'm going to fill in these dice rolls I have written down. Cool, so here's my last dice roll, and then I'm gonna click understand, and here are my seed words. So again, let me write these down. All right, I have all my words written down. I'm going to click next, then I'm gonna skip this verify part and click finalize seed. So now from these dice rolls that I put in the device, Seed Signer produced this key. So we're going to verify across another source that Seed Signer has generated the correct key. Here we are back in Ian Coleman and I'm going to click show entropy details over here. And then I'm gonna insert my entropy, which will be my dice rolls. So again, the same dice rolls that I put into my Seed Signer will now go into this Ian Coleman website. I have entered all my dice rolls into Ian Coleman over here. And now we're gonna scroll down and just change this setting here to 12 words to match our seed signer. And we're gonna make sure it's on hex. So you may think it should be on dice, but it should actually be on hex. Now we're gonna scroll down and see if our private key matches or our mnemonic rather. Cool, so Ian Coleman calculated our seed phrase as object water mammal. And if we look at our paper, we see it matches object, water, mammal. And the last words are dream, calm, you, hero. And that matches our seed signer. We've got dream, calm, you, hero. Cool, so now we know that seed signer is using our dice rolls correctly and generating the correct seed phrase. We also know that from our seed phrase, it is exporting the correct XPUB. So nothing malicious going on here. Now, the final thing I wanna do is verify that our BIP85 seed childs are the correct seeds. Now, you will need to make sure that BIP85 is activated in your settings. So simply go over to settings, then click on advanced, then scroll down until you see BIP85, right there, BIP85 child seeds. So click on that and just make sure this is enabled. Just a brief explanation of what BIP85 is. You generate one main phrase, which will be your parent seed. And then from this parent seed, you can generate child seeds. So essentially you only need to have this parent seed to have access to all of these child seeds. But if you have a child seed, you can't work backwards. So this is pretty useful for having many wallets. So that's a brief explanation of BIP85. Let's verify that our seed signer is generating the correct child seeds. On my seed signer, I'm going to go back to seeds. Then I'm going to use this seed phrase again. So the object, what a mammal seed phrase. And it is this fingerprint here, the 9F5 one. So I'm going to open that. Then I'm going to scroll down to BIP85 child seed and then click 12 words and then I'm gonna generate the seed at index zero. So I'm going to click zero. Now I'm going to click key three at the bottom here, just like that. And it should generate my child seed at index zero, there it is. Now back in Ian Coleman, I already have this seed phrase loaded, so I don't have to do that again. I'm going to scroll down here and click show BIP85. Now, if we scroll down, we can set the BIP85 index here and it's already set to zero. And let's see if our keys match. Here we're seeing Oda Beauty Holiday Post and that matches in Seed Signer. Let's click Next. Wheel Matrix Index Ethics, that matches. And finally, Spring Illegal Prize Hole, which also matches. So I'm gonna click Done here and skip this verify part. Cool, so let's test another index just to make sure. I'm going to click on BIP85 again here, 12 words, and then I'm gonna set a random index of two, six, um, three. 
So at index 263, and then I'm going to click on the tick over here. Cool, so now in Ian Coleman, let's set our index to 263 and see if our seeds match. Here in Seed Signer, we've got Venue Cute High Chair, which matches in Ian Coleman. Next, we have Adult Deal Effort Body. And again, this matches. Finally, Hood Knock Month Decade, and that matches. So there's nothing malicious going on here. Everything is working as intended. Now, just remember that these seed phrases that we put on Ian Coleman must not be used to store actual Bitcoin. These are just for testing purposes. Because we've put these keys online, you should consider them compromised. And that is the end of this video. I'm now confident that I can use my seed signer to store Bitcoin. And I will see you in the next video where I show you how to use your seed signer with Sparrow Wallet.